and China is here, they are watching in focus. Now this week, I'm in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Now Vietnam is a country that has an economy that is booming and can be considered one of the tightest in the Southeast Asian region right now. And with all the uh, booming economies, uh, we can see that multinational corporations are coming in and uh, small and medium enterprises are also sprouting like mushrooms in the country. However, there's one industry that has, is actually not getting an advantage of this boom. And that's the rock music industry. But then again, having a rock music industry like this is already the industry. You see what we got, what we got from uh, the gig. All right. You can see this. Uh, it's like uh, 15. Uh, All right. About, okay. about, about 100 dollars. 100 dollars. But in Vietnam, down it feel like uh, a lot. Right. Not very much, but the number is big. It's okay. two, two million Vietnam down. Oh, okay. And you have to share among five people. Yeah. yeah we, we share. So, so is it difficult to make a living as as musician? It's yeah, it's very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Why? Why is it difficult? Um, you see, the band have five members, and the bar have about ten staff, and the rent of the place, and a lot of money going to the owner. A lot of money goes to the owner. Yeah, the, the main money going to the owner, the boss. So. Um, yeah, the band is. You know, me, me, me and Tupu and Donan, we almost play open first for ourselves. So that's what you do. So, uh, but some of the members are actually full-time musicians, right? Yeah, yeah. this guy. He's, uh, he's a drummer of uh, three or four groups. His, his main band is a uh, famous Vietnamese uh, rock band. Rock band. And the bass player also a working musician. He playing for many, many uh, bands and uh, places. So how, how can you actually make a living if you are musician? What is the best way? We, uh, we have a different job. Everybody yeah. has different jobs. Not everyone. Some of them are full-time musicians, but some are 
most of you have to know. Yeah. Then, then uh, for this too, if you want to make music your full time career, what must you do? Um, we don't do that, so I don't know how to explain. But I guess, I guess, you have to play more than three, three nights per week, and you got to play in a bigger place. Yeah. So you got to play. Maybe you you got to be a, a house band of some nightclub, which is playing every night, and in that case you have more money. What if you uh, become a famous band? Famous band. There, yeah, there's a lot of famous band, but mostly famous singer. Band is not much. I think if we can make money, if we go touring different countries, then we can make money. If we, but if we play in Vietnam, I don't think we can make a lot of money. What about selling albums? Uh, yeah, uh, never doesn't done work. That. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Huh? It doesn't work. So yeah. in Vietnam, people can't sell albums. They can't make money. You, yeah. you can do it, but it's not a lot of profit. Really. <laughs> Thật ra là tôi ở trong một cái câu lạc bộ rock từ mười mấy năm nay rồi Và đây là cái nhà của anh em nhạc rock có chỗ về để chơi hàng đêm, để tập Và có một cái sân chơi hàng đêm hơn là những cái live show ở ngoài lâu lâu mới có một lần à, Cái vai trò đó thì tôi đã có sẵn rồi Tại vì tôi là cũng là một trong những người từ hồi đầu cùng một số anh em thành lập nên cái nền nhạc rock tại Việt Nam và phát triển nó từ hồi sơ khai và bước lên từ 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 để ngày nay nó mạnh hơn nó có nhiều băng nhạc hơn nó chuyên nghiệp hơn oh it's it's very important because uh, in Vietnam and in Saigon there there are many very few places for rockers uh, so uh, when when they they form a band they don't know have they don't know where where to play they don't have uh, they don't have places to go and also rock fans they don't have shows to to watch so this this place is like a, a playground for everybody uh, in rock music rock fans and rock players it's it's very important So when they do recordings in here, they play in here? Uh, yes, uh, sing in here. Okay. Yeah, this is a vocal booth for okay. vocal only, and the guitar, anything may... All right, okay, okay. My father teach me, my father taught me guitar when I was in sixth grade. And I've, I've been playing guitar for nearly 20 years. 20 years? Yes. Yeah. Wow. But mostly I taught myself. Okay. No school, no. And when, uh, when I was uh, in the first year of the university, uh -huh. um, I, I turned my interest into recording. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, I realized that I'm more onto recording than playing guitar. But actually, at that time, I played with my uh, bands, and we record our album together. Well, what band was it called? What was it called? Um, uh, my band. This was not microwave. It's microwave. Okay. I've been playing uh, in a lot of bands, many bands. I've mm -hmm. been playing many bands, uh, and microwave is actually the fifth or the sixth band. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> I play in bands in university, play in high school, and also. Uh, 
play in many high schools around the city. Uh, and microwave is actually the fifth or the sixth band that I play and record and get along with them. Actually, uh, to, to me, Microwave is uh, the most successful band, and I think that it is uh, the most successful band for all of Vietnam. Really? Yeah? Because um, to me, uh, Microwave can make a lot of money, which uh, no band could make. So you made a lot of money, you did? Yes. But, um, uh, and so at that time, were you playing music full time? Um, actually, no, we are just. Uh, uh, play in bars and clubs and uh, actually uh, from 2007 to uh, 2013 we have uh, many activities rock show rocket at the end of the years um, like uh, the Rockstorm series tour around Vietnam in there are 10 gigs in 10 provinces okay 10, 10 gigs in 10 provinces and uh, Week by week, you know, so it's, it's a long tour and which, um, which is uh, sponsored by mobile phone. Ah. Yeah. So the, it was big, it was mainstream. Yes, it's the mainstream, and we play in stadiums. Oh. The stadium of each province. You so know? like tens of thousands of people. Yeah, there. yeah. The the most crowded is around twenty five thousand. In Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, so 25,000. If you walk around in the city, people will recognize you? Yes, man, yeah? many times. Wow. <laughs> um, but uh, luckily, that uh, microwave was a successful band, so mm. I have uh, enough money to buy uh, yeah, those. The others cannot make it. Successful, I mean, millions of dollars? Mm. I think uh, for. For three years, we make uh, we made uh, around one billion Vietnamese now. Billion. One billion. One billion. How, how many US dollars is that? Um, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand in three years. Fifty thousand. Yeah, in three years. Okay. You know, uh, for the um, for the live bands in rock and club last night, uh -huh. I think the the salary for one night is around. Two million Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, one hundred dollars. Yeah, you they, they showed me. Yeah. Tofu uh, and the guitarist. What's his name? Uh, Huang. Uh, Tongan. To yes. Tongan. Yeah. yeah. He showed me. See, he opened the envelope. I get this much. <laughs> Tofu is actually a very famous uh, indie singer. Mm. With, uh, she's telling. I have recording one of her song. Oh, really? Original song. I will open okay, the, okay. it for you. Gloves. So microwave is still going on. The band yeah, is still, still going, going on, on. But you left. Yes, previously they have five members and mm -hmm. uh, when I left they also keep it four. Oh really? Yeah, so nobody replaced No, no replace. And they're still, they're still doing good? Um, I think so, because they still play and no signs to resign yet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now even though the band was so successful, why didn't you do it full time? Um, actually, uh, the, the, the music scenes around here is not so good for rock bands. If you uh, play for fun, if you play for uh, coffee money, it's okay, but uh, for students, it's okay for students, but when you get older and older, uh, I think it's not enough for uh, the second person. Even if you're playing for 25,000 people? Um, yes, because, but uh, just there are few gigs in a year, not every, every week, you know, just 10 weeks from uh, November to January of next year. Album sales? Not Album sales um, sell okay, but uh, for a long time, so it means nothing. I see. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, the first, uh, the, the bottom of my microwave, we sell 3,000 copies for two years. Two years, 3,000 yeah, copies? Yeah, Wow, okay. Right. So, n not much. Because we
I've been uh, playing in uh, rock band for more than 10 years, since I was in uh, high school. So we, uh, we have a close friend, so we build up the, the young band, play alternative, punk, uh, heavy metal. And now you're in a band? What band are you in and what kind of music do you play? So now, uh, after I graduate from film in US, I came back to Vietnam, but I create uh, another metal band called Black and Pink Theater. I play full time for the band. Yeah, I don't work for film anymore. You don't work anymore? Anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I spent, I, yeah, I spent like about like seven years for study about art, drawing, film, and uh, advertising. But I think my face is for rock and roll. So <laughs> I quit the job. I be a full-time musician. Full-time musician. How long yeah. have you been full-time musician now? Actually, I played for this band in seven years, but it feels like I have two lovers. I play with the band, and 7 p uh, 7 a.m. I wake up, go to the office, work, until 6 p.m., go back home and drive into the, jump into the studio to play with the band. But it's kind of hard. It takes a lot of energy and my time, so I have to quit. So now I've become full-time for the band in about two years. Two years now? Yeah, two years now. For, for rock in Vietnam, it's hard to survive. It's hard to have a show, it's hard to get money. But we know, we, but we try to find a way, and we got it. Now we become a bassender for Jack Daniel. We play for MTV, but we play death metal. It's, it's crazy. You never see MTV play death metal. But now in Vietnam, MTV Vietnam play death metal. It's because of your band, you think? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it's good. Now, how many people are in your band? Now, everybody now is uh, your entire band. They're all full time now in the band. Um, we have uh, six members in the band. We on uh, full time music. Oh, full time. Yeah, yeah. We quit on the jobs. The job is a lot of money, but it takes a lot of time. But we love music, so we quit the job. So we don't need money. Something yeah, yeah, we, we show our soul for rock and roll, so <laughs> for the, 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 the king of metal, <laughs> the <that's> Lucifer. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. You know, you know, I'm just kidding. You know that Vietnam is a country that's the economy is booming, very fast, it's growing. Yes. And that's why when you're working in film, everything pays very well. Yes, yes. Know? But music is not booming. Why? I, I used to have paid like for 2000 for months. For, 2000 for month. Dollar, dollar? dollar for month, 2000. But for music, sometimes no money. Sometimes it's just $500 for a month. But we, <laughs> you like it? we are young, so we have more time to do it. Do you think that the industry for your kind of music will slowly grow and then, you know, you can actually make a good living, like 2,000, 3,000 US dollars a month? That I don't know, man. That's uh, in the future. But I believe that uh, our country will growing up very fast. So I think they will love rock and roll. So I think we can survive. Uh, currently, I have a plan to uh, to um, making the the soundtrack for my one of my friends' movies. Ah. It's kind of indie movies. And I think it's just uh, it's fun to, to join them, so uh, <laughs> depends on the time and uh, the, they want it. I think that the movie will uh, shoot uh, will be shoot in uh, September. Okay. electrical engineer of, uh, for the maintenance department of an uh, oil and gas platform. If you had a choice of you know, being music full-time and not working as an engineer, would you do it? If you had a choice and then the money is good, you, know, you can support your family? I did have a choice. 
I just have a choice. You did have a choice. Yeah. Okay. And I have to make the decision. <laughs> um, actually, when I was young, uh, eight years ago, I, I talk of that. I talk of for working as a full-time engineer in the music industry. Actually, I just uh, just want to work in, with music, not for television or post mm, production. I don't like. Uh, I, I, actually, I did uh, do the post for some movies. Okay. Fully sound effect and uh, field recording and mixing uh, in front of that. But uh, no money. <laughs> no way. <laughs> because the budget is very low for audio. Okay. For movies in yeah. Vietnam, the budget is very low. So. And much, much lower uh, that, than that in uh, television. Wow. In television, you have to just get the monthly salary. But then even if you become a, a, a sound engineer, a music engineer in the music industry, yeah. will you make enough? I mean, to support the family, to have a good life, mm, if you no. made that choice? No, cannot. To, to my, uh, actually, with my uh, career right now, it's very different. Mm. You know? But if to somebody else, I think it's okay to, to live, but not so good, mm. not so well. So, Vietnamese is not a rich community. In this country, so you have to take care of yourself, your family, your parents. So you have to take a choice, and make another choice. Because I saw many very good players older than me. They play very good, they think very good, but at the end they cannot make it. And they have to switch to another job like a, a sandal, <laughs> making sandal, making uh, pudding. Anything really? to make a living, but sell for us, you know. But really? Yeah. One of the the best rumors in Sài Gòn, they say he sell for us. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very sad stories, you know. So I saw many of them like that. So I think that uh, for the young people, they they can play in the, the 20 to 30 years old, but then you have to think about another professional job. If you want to be somebody else, you know, to take care of family enough, make a living. Very difficult here. And I think it's the same situation for many bands in Asian countries. True. Very difficult, I think. It's, um, first things, um, you know, rockers cannot get uh, paid uh, a lot well uh, uh, compared to um, uh, artists in showbiz. Um, because uh, rock music in, in Vietnam is not, it's not something uh, big enough to support them, to make them like uh, well paid. So uh, some, some of the artists, some of the rockers have uh, bored and they quit because yes, they, can, they can go to the end. But uh, some of them still keep going, keep going, and they, they have a dream that uh, rock music will someday get better. Yeah. But, that, but that means that they will have to get a job somewhere else to support their music, right? Yes, yes, a definitely. People, yeah. A lot of people have uh, other jobs, main jobs. Uh, playing rock is just something extra. But uh, for, for their passion, for their love, not, not for living. What about you? Do you do it as a living? Uh, in some periods of time, I do it for a living, for my living. When I have many shows to play, many places invited me to uh, go playing for them. Well, I, I can make a lot of money and uh, yeah, I, I, I can live with that. But uh, for some periods, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of quiet. I have a few shows, so I have to find some, some other jobs to do, but I keep playing. Yeah. Uh, cái câu hỏi đó thì hiện nay là một số ban nhạc rock ở Việt Nam đang mong muốn điều đó và cũng có một số ban gần như họ sắp đạt được như thí dụ như Microwave, Unlimited, vân uh, vân uh, thì uh, họ luôn mong muốn và Việt Nam cũng luôn mong muốn là cái ngành nhạc rock này giúp cho họ tốt hơn trong việc chơi, việc đam mê cũng như là việc kiếm tiền cho cuộc sống của họ.